Round two, we've got to keep here. We're on the draw. Not a great hand, especially given that we can't play the Gorger, but we're keeping it. May have to play the old turn three, two, three. I'm okay with that. Tatsuko. Man, that card's good. Impulse or Cross and Druid. I suppose we play the Druid. Juggernaut. All right. Slime foot. Not bad. Let's get the omnivore down first, though, because I may need to block a juggernaut. Likely need to block a juggernaut. As much as I want the omnivore slime foot synergy, I think we better save ourselves some damage here. Juggernaut number two. Jeez. Hmm. Huh. I wonder if I'm supposed to adventurous impulse and hope we hit a forest so I can play slime foot and double block juggernaut. Or at least hit a land here. I don't really want to... I mean, we, we probably need to hit a land. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. And I guess even if it's a swamp, I can play the Whisper. But I want to get close to playing Gorger here soon. All right. Thankfully, we got what we needed. Lost a couple of removal spells, unfortunately. But that's okay. So... Uh, if we play the slime foot, we double block the juggernaut. We only lose one thing. That makes sense. I don't want to, I mean, that's, it's a little more challenging. I might need to take the juggernaut actually, I, I guess. I can just damage preserve. Opponent said they're a huge fan. That's nice. Um, I could just trade off the slime foot because I can get it back with Whisper at some point. But man, Whisper is really strong if I can get some tokens going. I'm trying to think if I maybe I want to double block the Juggernaut. Just be patient. Cause I definitely, I mean, I don't want to take five damage here. It's kind of the thing. And another thing is, I feel like I'm not going to be pumping. That that's actually, I guess, okay. So I guess we will take six. It loses abilities too. Is that right? Yeah. Maybe I was, well, now I kind of want to use it for Whisper, though, don't I? So, huh. 
I can play the abomination to block the juggernaut. I may be needed to prevent some damage there. Hmm. Abomination trade with Juggernaut or Gorger trade with Juggernaut. I guess Gorger trade with Juggernaut's better. Abomination makes better use of mana though. And Gorger can be bigger later. Alright. I'm going to play the Abomination. Guess we get in with the druid. Take damage where we can, or rather, get damage in when we can. I can also maybe just block. Oh, it's a. Uh, I forgot about the. <laughs> I forgot about the deep freeze juggernaut synergy. Yeah, Sphinx is a pretty good one. We're in a pretty tough spot here. Need to find that eviscerate. Uh, let's see. So impulse or gorger. Actually, I guess we'll impulse because I can play whisper anyway. I guess. little unideal here. Guess we play Whisper. So Kinda need to find an answer for the Sphinx here, don't I? Guess we can bring in a Pierce the Sky, but yeah, maybe I need to. Ventress Impulse is an easy cut anyway. Fungal Plots, yeah, we probably probably need that actually. All right, so I think we play the plots and pass. I think we want to get the omnivore back. Because then we can at least, I mean, I kind of know how to do this, I think. Oh yeah, these can't be blocked. Man, Tatsuko is such a good card.
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ugh, one short too. All right. Well, a little late. I think this slime foot would have been pretty nuts here. So the issue is we only see one flyer too. So I'm not super gung ho about bringing in Pierce the Sky, but Adventurous Impulse is pretty underwhelming anyway. So maybe we do. Broken Bond does deal with Deep Freeze. Maybe that's something divest can get something maybe let's bring in a pierce let's bring in a broken bond KC. Yeah, actually, never mind. Broken Bond is actually good because they have multiple juggernauts. Okay. I guess we do this. And I still think we want to be on the draw. They're not like hyper aggro and we want to have some answers for their stuff, so... I mean, we, we want to find the removal to deal with the Tetsuko. Tetsuko's not necessarily aggro either, but... Okay, that's actually pretty good news for us anyway. Um, I'm actually just going to kill that now so I can attack. Fungo plots, not bad. Get our white mana. So we'll toast that guy. And play the fungal plots. OK. 
Okay. Two cards on the bottom. So land would be ideal. No land is significantly worse. So I guess we smash. And then we'll drop a... Hmm. Yeah, I guess we play the elves. Not getting the land there hurts quite a bit. Especially if they play a migration here. All right, well, I guess that's actually all right. I think we attack first, though, because they just sacked the tapped one. Glad they're taking it. All right. We get good reborn value here, so that's good news. All right. Well, I got rid of a deep freeze too. Okay, let's play the abomination and pass. Man, that's a lot of Cloud Reader Sphinxes. That's nuts. Wish I'd brought in my other Pierce the Sky, but we only saw one game one. Bring in multiple, bring in multiple narrow removal spells for one card. If I'd seen more Cloud Reader Sphinxes, it would have been just so easy to do. But actually, I guess the Broken Bond we brought in paid off too. But yeah, I mean, Scry 6, that's just bonkers. So let's get the Sphinx and do some scrying of our own, I suppose. Look for some removal. Get out of here. No, we need removal, not two twos. Uh, let's see. So yeah, I guess we attack with the abomination here. Maybe it's wiser to play the Om... Yeah, actually it is. Because Omnivore can threaten some lethal, too. All right. One card left in our hand, too. Maybe with this Gift of Growth, we can just kill him. I have to do some math.
So if they attack with both sphinxes, we definitely can kill them. Because then I just save the gift of growth. Even if they don't attack with the sphinxes, I wonder if we can kill them. I'm not sure. I mean, the thing is, Thalid Omnivore, if unblocked, is certainly lethal. Blink of an eye is pretty nuts draw for them there. Kind of leaves us no choice, but... Uh, I mean, they must know we have Gift of Growth, so they're probably just doing some math, which makes sense. But, yeah, we're in some trouble here. Abomination number two. All right, let's, uh, guess we get in with everything. Or maybe not everything, huh? Well, is it everything? They can't afford to not block this, but can they afford to block that? I think we attack with everything here. I mean, we got to go for lethal, obviously, if they block like that. Definitely not left with a ton of choices <laughs> otherwise. Yeah, we got to go for it here. So I guess we'll do it on the sapperling. That way I can sack it and gain life if they have something. All right, cool. So, triple Sphinx. Well, get in here. Pierce this guy. I need you. And what are we dumping? Maybe the Marwin. Not that it's bad. It's just it's not bad. It's just I don't know if I want it. I don't know if I can afford a 3-mana 1-1 one, one ramp right now. So it leaves us with, what, 14 creatures? It's not great. But I don't want another Broken Bond either. As much as it was really good against Juggernaut, I think all this narrow removal could catch up to us if we're not careful. Problem is our creatures are not great against Juggernaut. None of them, really. But, so be it. We gotta have outs for those uh, for those Sphinxes. I wonder if they want to be on the play or the draw. They want to be on the play. I think I'm okay with that. They're not hyper aggro, and we are, I think, okay in the late game. It kind of depends. Candle. All right. Hopefully just a Relic Runner again. That's what I'd like to see. Or no blue mana. I'd like to see that as well.
Well, hopefully slow and steady wins the race because we are certainly not out of the gates throwing at our opponent. I mean, not not them having or not having blue mana is good news. All right, let's bust out the old omnivore. Top and bottom, so I guess we get to attack into Sphinx, which is nice. So, best use of mana is Whisper. Whisper with nothing in the yard is not great, though. Yavimaya Sap Herd gives us some omnivore ammo. Hmm. I'm going to play the Whisper. So I could, question is, do I bluff here? Oh, I guess I don't have to now. That's pretty nice. Kill that. Deal damage there, play this. Pretty timely draw. Especially since they weren't going for the bluff. I mean it wasn't a bluff, but I'm saying they weren't they weren't gonna do a bluff, that's for sure. So they do have blood tallow candle mana up. Not 100% if that matters. If they leave it up and they leave the Sphinx back, then we guess we can't attack, but... Okay, they didn't leave up the candle though, that's good news. Just means they still don't really have a great attack for, whoa, jeez. No attacks though, it's a bit surprising actually. Five, seven, nine. Not quite enough. Guess we'll get the abomination out there. So I do have to be pretty cognizant of that uh, of that blood tallow candle. I mean, thankfully, they have to leave up six mana for me to be threatened by that. But 
That's not an impossible thing for them to do. Our Thalid Omnivore is currently threatening lethal, and Whisper looks real good on this board too, where if they kill something with Candle, we'll just get it back. They're busting it now. Let's see what they're killing though. I'm, I'm a bit curious. Guess that makes sense. And now they can't use the candle though. Who are they milling? Me or you? I mean, me with the whisper out seems wrong. That's surprising. I mean, they did get rid of, like, a bunch of super important cards, but uh, is it top four, too? I always forget that. It's a lot of cards. No creatures? Jeez. All right. Well, building towards that Croson Druid, I suppose. Let's uh, get in there with the Abomination and play another one. I'm very thankful Abomination is so good. Got rid of an Eviscerate, an Eldest Reborn, and a Pierce the Sky. Jeez. <laughs> no creatures. That was a really risky Hammer at Explorer. I mean, granted, it paid huge dividends there. It got rid of, like, three amazing removal spells. But when you have Whisper out, I don't know if I would have done that. I would have milled myself. Hmm. Well, I suppose we can do the Cross and Druid. Can I attack with everything and kill him? No. Okay, I can't sack anything to get it back so so be that so be that <laughs> that's some fine english for you folks all right let's get that out play the druid pass leave up whisper to start getting back some dudes I attack with everything, are they dead? Not if they have... I think we're just going to play this safe because I don't see why not. Sure.
All right. Cool. Got there. See you in round three.